Hey everybody, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video we are going to be doing a quick run through of the second Armor Reforger dev block, as well as what changes have arrived with the second minor update to Armor Reforger, update 0.9.5.61, that arrived on both Steam and Xbox. So with no further delay, let's just get right into this. <laughs> Once again, we will be starting off with what's new with the new update. Update 0.9.5.61 went live on June 1st for Steam and June 2nd for Xbox. This update is notably larger than the first update as a solid hotfix update to really fix a lot of what was going wrong in the early weeks. So let's review what was fixed and what was changed with it. First of all, they added a new smaller conflict scenario. This smaller conflict is the same as the normal mode, but it's a smaller server size and it's also a smaller map. So you don't have the entire of Evron to explore. You have more so like two major cities and what's in between them. They had a large amount of bug fixes, starting off with a fix that was causing rendering artifacting with shadow cascades. They fixed AI idle behavior that was making them not check their surroundings and also improved AI perception on night maps. However, I have in my game still noticed a lot of problems with AI um, behavior, so I think we will be getting more updates in that regard. They fixed explosive containers in conflict that contained regular items instead of explosives. They fixed a bug that caused magazines to stay attached to the player's hands if they interrupted a reload. They added an option to change the game's gamepad y-axis orientation. They fixed a bug that caused a crash when closing game master mode, one that caused a crash when exiting UI, and one that caused a crash when equipping a gun. So really, hopefully, a lot less crashing. They fixed a bug that would cause cars to sink under terrain if they were to crash with the gate bars. And finally, they improved door contact detection. To finalize with a really more so bug fixes and general updates, they buffed the Oral's upshift RPM, which is now going to be at 1,250 RPM instead of what it was at, which is just means a stronger Oral. On Xbox, they fixed Bohemia's password entry on the virtual keyboard to make it easier for players, and they changed it so TV audio will no longer go mute if you plug in headphones to the controller. In multiplayer, they had several fixes that should improve the experience, decreasing lag, and just making it feel more smooth overall. In regards to rendering, they fixed more artifacting, specifically some that was appearing when you used either scopes or opened your inventory. They fixed a bug that made building interiors suddenly go pitch black, and they made it so clutter will be removed by decals, and when you remove clutter, it will no longer violently flicker at you when you remove it. In regards to the workbench, they fixed a bug that caused a crash when you tried to save a world into a read-only folder, as well as made some either other optimizations to improve the mod making experience. So those are the changes that came with the June 1st update, but what else was covered by the dev block? Well first, they confirmed that they are working on a fix to a glitch that causes items in containers to be reordered should you try and pick them up. And they stated that their primary goal is to focus on the stability of multiplayer sessions. To help achieve this, they have set some goals as like tiny little stepping stones to achieve that. First, they want to fix saving upon exiting and the continue feature in general. They want to fix enemy nicknames being visible in communications. They want to fix incorrect first person like camera on AI characters. And finally, they want to add better spawn protection for conflict and other game modes. Specifically on that spawn protection note, I have noticed recently that it is very easy to spawn in the middle of a firefight and immediately die. So hopefully they add something in that regard so that you aren't spawning and then dying immediately. Finally, to close out, they covered some logistical issues. First, they've stated that they fully intend on raising Xbox server limits back up to what they were. But at the moment, they need to focus on optimizing the Xbox experience so they cannot bring them up yet. And they also brought up Hexervate, which was mentioned in the last dev report, which they stated is going to be probably released within the next week on the workshop. It will be a tiny single player game built as a mod to Reforger, and apparently will be extremely unlike the main game. I'm really excited to see this release, and I'll have some footage of it whenever it comes out. But that's all I've got for you guys today. I'm excited about the future of Reforger, and I think the devs have done a good job so far. But until the next dev vlog, I'll see you all next time.